Good evening, I'm Jeff Strang for Trader Boat and I'm here this evening on the Hampton 700 Sky Lounge. This beautiful boat's out of Lee Smith Cruiser Stales right here on the Gold Coast. First impressions of a very, very classy vessel. It's big and it's solid and it's heavy. I think it, it's nearly 60 ton. It really feels like a ship. Join us for the ride, it should be lovely. So I'm here with Ryan Lee Smith, the director of Lee Smith Cruiser Sales. Uh, these are the guys that bring in this beautiful Hampton 700 Sky Lounge. Ryan, this is the first time I've been on a Hampton. They're certainly an impressive vessel. Yeah, we're pretty excited about it, Jeff. The uh, the 700 that we're on today has sort of been a culmination of uh, 14 previous Hamptons that we've put together, and we've learned a lot in a very short time. And uh, We've sort of seen where the market's going and this one ticks all the boxes. Tell me a bit about Hampton, what's the story there? How <coughs> your relationship with them? I know it's been going for a while, like you say, 14 boats. Yeah, we started off uh, some 11 years ago in Shanghai, China and um, uh, with another brand, Alaska Motiots. It's been very successful for us. Uh, natural progression was uh, to get our clients up into a bigger bigger vessel. Yeah. Uh, it was just by chance we came across Hampton Yachts in Shanghai uh, and it was a perfect fit. A family based company, great product, very innovative. Right. And uh, we're happy to sort of Australianise the boats the way we wanted to. All right, look, absolutely, that's so important. It's one of the things we don't see all the time is, is the Australian input. Look, if you don't know about the Lee Smith family, they're, you know, they're almost, almost a dynasty here on the Gold Coast. They've been developing boats here for three generations, I think. Something yeah, that's like that. right, yeah. Uh, and, and been developing them specifically for the Australian audience. Look, you guys, um, you don't just sell boats. I know you've got a yard up there. It's uh, one of the biggest around. So yeah, it's we're pretty. Service deal. We're pretty proud of that. And it's, uh, with the Hampton and Alaska brands, we uh, we offer a serious level of service behind the brands. Uh, Gold Coast City Marina is the largest uh, integrated uh, commercial marine development of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, something we're pretty proud of. We've been there for 13 years now. Yep. So you become a part of the uh, a part of the Gold Coast City Marina family. We've got 60 odd trades there. Uh, John Bennett's and Joe Akasich are our two uh, full time engineers servicing the Hampton brand. Uh, so there's always someone on call seven days a week. Fantastic. Ryan, I really look forward to the uh, personalised tour you're about to give us. Yep. Uh, congratulations, beautiful boat. Thanks Jeff, good to have you aboard. Yeah, pleasure. Look, these master cabins on these boats we're seeing uh, seeing this year are just getting better and better. This is another fantastic example. Got the old super king size bed right here. It's actually so wide it actually looks like it's short, but I assure you it is not. One of the other things that I really like in these these uh, full beam masters are these um, beautiful windows where you you kind of at you're at water level and just the the light at the moment. We're just getting towards dusk now and twilight and. It's a beautiful sensation and uh, even if you turn all the artificial lighting in here you get a beautifully water reflected dappled light just cooling soothing very pleasant place to spend some time i have to say you know, as we expect uh, just the beautiful quality ensuite very spacious beautiful wood paneling on the sides here great tap fittings you know even a step up again in the shower massive shower really big Nice seat in there, very, very comfortable space, beautifully lit. You know, great little backlighting around the ceiling mirrors. Just a beautiful space, very, very nice. All out, this master cabin, it's all class. It's contemporary, it's not overly ostentatious if you like, but um, it's, it's very classy and it'll be very easy to spend some some very pleasant, relaxing time in here. What I really like about the approach these these true blue water boats take is that the this kind of this top deck is almost fully self-contained, if you like. Um, out the back here, 
got the, some really heavy fiberglass here in these lids and at the moment this has just got a sink in it but what they could do is you, you could put um, you could put a barbecue hot plate here if you wanted to do. That's one of the options. On the back there's a WC 1600 brow system davit for the tender. Here in the in the Sky Lounge part of the bridge, which is actually just a step down from the main part of the bridge, you've got um, a Vintec wine cooler here. It's actually one of two on the boat. Very essential, I think. And um, great cupboard space in here. Entertainment system. If you wanted to, you might be able to look at putting another refrigeration system, but probably not necessary. Beautiful fold-out table around this a great L-shaped lounger for people that just want to enjoy the view and what a view it is out through those windows, I have to say. Beautiful all set off by those nice timber frames. Up here at the front, up one level, true offshore Elm Station. Twin pomponette seats, great setup up here. One of the things they have done is they've brought the helm from downstairs up here, so there's no, no helm station at all downstairs. That's really opened up the space down there, and we might just go and take a look down there in a minute. And the galleys, the galleys are really impressive. We should. We should take a look at that. Here in this great galley, uh, what you see is the benefit of, of shifting that helm stairs upstairs and, and just freeing, really freeing up the space. This is, you know, this is as big a galley as you'd ever see on a 70 foot boat. It's probably as big a galley as you'd ever see in a reasonable person's home. Uh, great use of um, cupboard space up here for your storage when you're working out here, a couple of twin sinks, proper oven. I don't know how many times I write a story where I, I don't see a proper oven. It, it actually really annoys me and it's great to see a good one in here because that makes all the difference when you really want to try and turn the spread on to have quality gear to cook on is, is everything. Beautiful formal dining table here. This is one of the benefits of, again, of moving that helm stairs upstairs. Really frees up the space, gives you this opportunity for a formal dining table, which is just a really nice place to catch up at the end of the day and everybody sort of trade war stories from the day on the water and that's quite important, I think. And then we come back down here after into this beautiful big saloon. So big, I don't, I don't even know how many people you'd sit down here. I think you could kind of, you could probably have 10 people down here. Beautiful space, big panoramic windows making the most of this gorgeous Gold Coast evening. Look, we're just so spoiled here at Trader Boat that we get to have these days on, on board these beautiful boats and this, this Hampton 700 is, is one that makes the trip worthwhile I have to say. I've really enjoyed the day. Lovely boat. Beautiful boat actually. There you have it. Stay on board the Hampton 700 Sky Lounge. A beautiful day. Look at this evening. We're catching a few fish out here. Hampton 700 Sky Lounge. Great true blue water boat. Multi tank set up. I think more than 7,000 litres available. C18 cats at, at just over 900 horsepower aside. Really good fuel efficiency. West Mass stabilizers. It's going to be great at sea. And uh, just backed by fantastic service at Gold Coast City Marina. This is a boat you really should be looking at if you're in the market for a solid, dependable, great quality, great looking blue water cruising boat. Beautiful.